and welcome back to my channel. I am back, <laughs> guys. Before I start this video, just please look at this thing. I don't know what it's called. If it's a, uh, it's almost like a gown, nighty type of thing. I don't know what's the proper English word for this, but. <sighs> I forgot to mention in my last haul, I think it was two weeks ago, that I got this, oops, I got this um, for myself, the pink one, and then I got the maroon one for my sister, I think I'm going to put the picture over there, and then um, it's like a month in type of thingy where you take something, you pay it month in, so I thought, oh my word, they're talking about storms that's coming, and the weather, so I'm going to get this. Then we can get rid of our gowns and then wear this type of thingy. It's so cute! <laughs> and I forgot the important thing! Oh my goodness, my floppy! Ah, wait! <laughs> oh my goodness! I forgot to mention these things that I obviously got a while ago but I forgot to mention it in the wall so if you're thinking why is this child wearing pink and a yellow white floppy with a grey background and but at least this and this kind of goes together my window frame <laughs> so guys without further ado let's get into this video oh, I'm getting on so guys today's video is ways on how to prevent hair loss by your hairline and i actually got a comment on this i think her name is megan i hope i'm pronouncing your surname right megan collop i think i'm pronouncing it right i literally went on google to go and hear listen to how the pronunciation is of your surname so i'm hoping i'm pronouncing it right i think i will put a, a comment somewhere below she asked me to do a video so i thought i'm gonna do this video because first of all there's thousands and millions of females and males around the globe that have hair loss. It's absolutely normal. You're supposed to lose at least plus minus a th plus minus hundred strands of hair per day. Because you obviously your hair goes through four different stages. I think I'm gonna mention the four stages at the bottom. It's like a whole lesson type of video today, so I hope it's not too boring. But I really wanted to do it because I get comments a lot. And then I never get the time to actually sit down and do this type of videos. So, <sighs> my floppy, <laughs> I'm getting hot. So, I also have this hair loss, like always happening here. There's so much hair gone there. Like sometimes in my pictures in that you can actually see it, but like you can see the, there's like a spot missing here. And especially when my hair is clean, this it's, it's almost like this type of gap. Like here, you can see here's hair missing here because you can't see anything here maybe. But on this side also, I actually even saw this morning, like this hair is gone here. And I've always had this problem, I've noticed, like probably over a few years now, I've also had this problem of losing hair here. But now, like I mentioned in quite a few videos now, this first, let's say the first four or five months of this year was horrible for me. And let's just put this here, right? So I, because I was stressing so much, I had a lot of hair loss. Hair that's actually gone here, that's still growing. And now, that's the reason why I cut my hair off and now my hair is growing again. So I'm going to cut it like much shorter now. So maybe, I don't know, in my next video, my hair might be shorter. So just embrace this length for now because my hair, the thing is for me personally, I feel like I'm going off track. I actually made some notes for this comment because I don't want to miss anything. So for me personally, I've been on hair growth tablets. I've been on a lot of home remedies and now that i work in a proper salon i'm trying to at least every month buy me a salon brand whether it's heat protector whether it's a serum whether it's a hair oil whether it can be anything but i want my hair care to eventually be just salon brands i want to move away from box stuff and like the cheapies so i'm investing in my hair and especially my sister's hair because her hair is obviously much lighter than mine. I had to 
color a eraser. So, if you really want, you you literally have to invest in your hair care, basically. So that is what, that is what I've noticed over the years that my hair on its own grows very fast. That's why I stopped taking all the tablets and the oils and all of that type of stuff. I'm moving away from that because I've noticed naturally my hair does grow fast. So every single day, and especially when you sleep, your hair grows. But if you don't look after the ends of your head, so important if you don't go for regular trims, your head keeps on breaking off at the ends because this hair at the ends is old. This hair was eventually growing from your root, the root going down. How many years did it take for the hair to get to the ends? That's why the ends will always be the oldest hair. So if you don't trim it, either way it's going to break. So don't run away from trimming. So if you want healthy hair and you want to grow your hair, you need to trim your hair every six to eight weeks. Vital. You can't run away from split ends. Split ends, it comes from any hairstyles, pom-poms, brushes, combs, heat, color. Anything will give you split ends. It's part of your hair journey. You can't run away from it. You need to trim or cut your hair. Don't be scared to cut and trim. Just like you're not scared to bleach your hair. You're not scared to color your hair. Why are you scared of a scissor? Because it grows. Hair always grows. Hair never stops growing. Anyway, so for you, Megan, first of all, your scalp. If your scalp is in a bad condition, your hair will also be in a bad condition. If you have a dry scalp, your hair will be dry. If you have an oily scalp, your hair is going to appear oily. So, your foundation is your scalp. You need to make sure that you have a healthy scalp. Healthy scalp will give you healthy hair. So there can be a lot of factors and a lot of causes for hair loss. I actually dotted down. It can be medicine. like depending on what type of medicine you are like the side effects it can also be that it can be stress oh number one i'm out of breath oh, i'm too excited it can be stress i'm telling you stress is one of the biggest causes of hair loss like if you're in a stressful situation you need to you need to look at ways to get you out of it like when it came to me with my stressful first part of the year I eventually overcame it. I managed to pass my first term. Thank you, Lord. Um, I'm trying to get help at church because at church, my responsibility at church is also so much. Um, I'm working also full time. So, every week it was stressful and it affected my hair. So, I thought, you know what? Cut this hair off. I know my hair grew long. It would probably be how long now? Because every time my hair gets to a nice length, I keep on cutting it. But it's fine. Hair grows, like I said. So I thought, cut this hair off. Because if you see a new length, then you literally fall in love with your hair. And if your hair is different, so for me personally, I keep my hair black. It's my natural hair color. I keep it black because it's healthiest. But if I get bored of my hair, I cut it. Because if you look at a different haircut and you see that now for every day, then your mind, basically for me, my mind goes away from coloring because coloring is even more damaging. So rather trim or cut than going to color or more heat. <sighs> so let me go on. Stress, try to, whatever's going on in your life. I know for me, it's easy to say, do this, do that. But, <coughs> that cough came out of nowhere you need to you need to like prioritize and you need to get yourself out of stressful situations because stress causes a lot of damage to the body overall now just not here only then it can be genetic it can run in the family and you can't unfortunately you can't run away from that um it can be your age, it can be childbirth, it can be pregnancy, a lot of things can cause hair loss. It can be tight hairstyles, wearing the same hairstyle, like the same ponytail. Let's, for, let's say for example, you, you get people, I'm sure everybody knows that type of people that have this tight buns every single day. All their life the hair is constantly pulling every day the only time the hair gets a break is when the person sleeps at night tomorrow again 
Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday. All of that also causes hair loss. That is why it's so important to sleep with loose hair. If you do sleep with loose hair, get you a silk bonnet for your hair. Get you a silk pillowcase if you can't um, afford both. Because if you sleep with loose hair, if you prefer sleeping with loose hair, then there's less friction on, on the hair if you have a silk pillowcase basically. Um, sleep with braidings, loose braiding, sleep with loose pom-poms, scrunchies and that stuff. Avoid that type of stuff when you go to sleep. Um, what is this still? It can be an emo, emo uh, It can be an hormonal imbalance. Sorry, my English is bad. That the only way you will find out that if you, is if you go to the doctor, because it means that your hormones is also not right, and that's also can also cause uh, hair loss. And then, like I said, scalp. Sometimes you get scalp infections. People don't take care of their scalps. If you see your scalp is dry or it's too oily, then somewhere there's a, a, a imbalance somewhere, and you need to start treating the scalp. So, if you have a dry scalp, I'm going to put the picture also up. I actually need to dot down all of the stuff that I'm going to, so that I don't forget to add the pictures when I edit the video. The shampoo. I got my clicks, I bought it for my sister because my sister had an extremely dry scalp. She did a first wash now in the week and her scalp looks way better than washing it with normal shampoo. I'm gonna put this picture up. If you do have a dry scalp, whoever's watching this video, not just for Megan, but if you have a dry scalp, this will be your best friend, then you need to get a deep treatment. Also, speaking about deep treatments, let me just say, you need to get you a deep treatment. Me personally, I'm trying to move away from normal conditioners. I don't even want to hear the word conditioner. It must just be treatments. Treatments, treatments, moisture treatments, protein treatments. If, you feel, if you're here, when it comes to protein, too much hair loss, like you will be able to know if it's too much hair loss too much breakage and whatever there can be so much factors it can also be um, your hair doesn't have enough protein you need to get something with protein like what we use at work is the four step joico treatment I, uh, I don't even know where people can find it because it's a salon brand unless you go to a salon and ask if they have it or you literally need to go online onto the Joico site or the hair sites to literally order this type of stuff. The Joico 4 step is the first one is a clarifying shampoo, the second one is a cuticle sealer, the third one is a reconstructor which is protein, the fourth one is a hydrator which is moisture. So number three, number four, if you have money and you can afford that, that is the best for me, not the best, 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 but it's a, the, that is an amazing treatment, the whole four step, but you do actually do get salons that will sell the smaller ones, if I can also put that on the screen, I'm going to see if I can get the, the, the picture of the two bottles, the number three and the number four that I'm speaking about, if you can maybe see if you can buy that. Go around to like bigger malls like like uh, Partners, Carlton, that type of salons, and see in the retail section if they maybe sell that. You can get that as a deep treatment and go away from conditioners. Stick to your deep treatments. Then let me see. Oh, like I said, you need to lose hair every day. Before I continue, I see I'm already 15 minutes in the video. You need to know that every single day you are going to lose hair if your hair is in a bun if your hair is in braiding let's say you're braiding your hair on a monday and you loosen your hair the next monday there's gonna be so much hair that will come out as you loosening loosening the braids and brushing out the hair then you're like oh my god why do i have so much hair loss but that's not hair loss that is every single day that dead hair that's supposed to fall out every day is sitting there because your hair let's do this remember your hair is in a braid tight loose whatever so 
give your ears in a braid. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Every day is here that's going to fall out, that's supposed to fall out. It's going to stay there because it can't fall out because it's stuck there by the braid. So when you loosen the braid, all that dead hair will literally fall out. So that's the hair that you see. Now you're telling yourself, oh my God, all my hair is falling out. But it's not all your hair falling out. That's every day's hair that accumulated there and it was just waiting for you to loosen the plait. The same like with my boyfriend, he had braids at least like let's say once or twice a month. He does his um, braids over, we wash, we do whatever we need to do, he plaits his hair. So after his next se session, when he needs to loosen that braids, comb it out, he also sits with that amount of days that he sits with because it's stuck there. The same like your hair is in the hairstyle whole day. Now that 100 plus hair that fell out during the day is all maybe situated in here but it can't fall out unless you do this then you will see this hair coming out or unless you do this that dead hair is allowed to fall out but what i'm trying to say is i'm sure you understand what i'm trying to say is that you can't prevent hair loss every day you need to lose at least plus minus 100 strands of hair i will put the four stages of hair um the stages of the hair loss I will put it at the bottom. I think it starts with allergen. Please do your research on it. You will understand more of each step. There's four or five steps. Then you will understand more. But hair loss is a thing that's absolutely normal. Nothing to be shy about. Nothing to be embarrassed about. I also get hair loss. But I just know how to deal with it basically. And if you want to do at home treatments, please search on YouTube. YouTube is your best friend. If you search for videos and you want to try videos, read through the comments, do your research on Google, see what works for you, what don't work for you, what doesn't work for you, sorry. Um, castor oil, coconut oil, look up on videos where you can use castor oil. I think I even have on my channel, you can go through my old videos, see there what works for you, what doesn't work, work for you for home remedies. If you do get reactions in that, immediately stop it because then you know it's not for you. But the one thing that I can recommend, and I think this is the last thing I'm probably going to get end of, I think hopefully I covered every angle for you, Megan. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss out anything. Is hair growth tablets. The one thing that I used was Prosena hair growth. The first thing I want you to know is this tablet is amazing. I bought it. You can either buy it clicks or the skin. I bought the one every month, the 60 tablet one. I think the price for that is now is 180. 180 for 60 tablets. Then I take two a day, which means it will only last you for 30 days because there's 60 tablets in because you're taking two a day. So every single month. You need to make sure that you buy you the box. I'm going to put the picture on the screen, the exact one that I used. I stopped using it because I've noticed that I don't need it because my hair on average grows fast. You're supposed to at least get 7 inches a year of growth. And 7 inches of year is actually a lot. So if you get less than that, like I said, it can be so many like that factors I mentioned. It can be medicine, stress, all of that. There's a lot of stuff that um, can cause hair loss. You don't need to worry. You just need to find out what is causing you to lose hair. If you can find that, then from there you will know exactly what to do. But Prosena is going to be your best friend. So if you want your hair to grow faster, please go to Clisu Game or search the brand Prosena Hair Growth and try the tablets, the two tablets every day. It works amazing. Oh, and you need to be prepared. Everything else on your body grows twice as fast. Your eyelashes, your, like let's say your wax here, your eyebrows, your hair, under the arms, there, your fingernails, your toenails. <laughs> Everything grows fast. 
it gets to the point where it grows so fast that you actually get annoyed because I'm like, I just cut my nails now and then a week later, my nails is long. So it's not only just this hair that's going to grow if you go into Prosana, but all the reviews is good. And for me, that worked. It obviously worked. But if you are struggling with this hairline loss, like I said, first find the culprit. What is the, the factor for you that's causing you the hairline loss or hair loss in general? And then you take it from there. But out of everything I can tell you is make sure you find your cause. Make sure that you keep your scalp as healthy as possible and even your hair. Stop unnecessary coloring, bleaching because you want to follow trends and all of that. I did all of that. That's why I'm speaking out of experience. So now I rather stay with my bland color. I don't care if people think it's boring. People tell me color your hair. No, don't color your hair. Because I know the I know the damage to all of these things. I work in a salon. I study hair. I know the stuff. So don't listen to people. The only thing you can do is keep your natural hair color. Make sure your scalp is healthy. Make sure your hair is healthy. Buy treatments. Get the proper shampoo. And be consistent in what you do. And if you get the percent of hair growth, I think that is just a cherry on top. And regular trims. If you know you're using a flat iron, if you know you're using a hair dryer, if you know you're using all of these things that's causing split ends, you need to trim your hair. Get a hair dresser or, or somebody that you trust to trim your ends every six to eight weeks. You can go longer than eight weeks if, let's say, you don't use the flat iron as much, you don't use all those unnecessary things, but you can always check your ends, like I always check my ends. If you look closely like this, you can literally see if you take one strand of your hair, you can't see it like this. And if you see that one strand at the end is split open, then you must know, ooh, time for a trim. Because like I said, if you run away from a trim, your hair is going to break off either way. You can't run away from the scissor. So I tell yourself, um, I would rather let somebody trim my ends, let it be healthy, then the hair breaking off and then you sit with this damaged Hey, which is so unnecessary so Megan I hope I've mentioned everything I hope this video was at least helpful for you <sighs> like I said if you try all of that things get to the bottom of it get to the cause keep your scalp help healthy keep your hair healthy regular trims try the Prosena hair growth get you a nice hair care um, shampoo and deep treatments and all of that then your hair this should start growing back so I hope that was helpful <laughs> I can't wait to cut this hair I'm just at this point where I just why it was here two three months ago this is what I this is how much growth I got in two two and a half months this is so much growth in two and a half months. Some people wait like a whole year for that little growth. And there's also one thing I can tell you. I've noticed a lot like people that I see on a daily basis maybe or, or wherever I go in public. If I see you after a very long time, for example, and your hair is still on the same length and I've seen you in such a long time. That's already a red flag that hair is unhealthy, that scalp is unhealthy. Why is the hair taking so long to grow? Because she's not trimming her hair. Her hair keeps on breaking off now. The people think, my hair is not growing, my hair is not growing. Your hair is growing every day. It grows out of your scalp, but it breaks off here. That's why it stays there, because you don't want to... <laughs> I can go on and on and on and on. You can ask my sister when it comes to hair. That is my passion. And I just wish people can just, just understand how important it is. Just with your skin. as The same with your skin care, body, whatever. You need to keep everything healthy in order to have healthy hair, healthy skin. Anyway, I hope this video was insightful. I hope that's the right proper English word. And I hope I don't forget any of the pictures. So if I do forget to add pictures, 
everything will be in the description below you can just read at the bottom of the video and um yeah i think that's it don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms you know where to find me don't forget to subscribe and thank you to all the new subs i see my subscribing subscribers is growing thank you for the support <sighs> and that's done